Howdy y'all, my name is Bo, and today we're checking out Tilt Brush. Tilt Brush is an application that lets you paint in 3D space using virtual reality. Unfortunately, it's no longer supported by Google, but they did make it open source. Stick around and I'll show you where you can get a free copy of this and how you can set it up to film in mixed reality. To get started, we need to head to the Live Tilt Brush page. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Once you're here, scroll down. Under the Capturing with Live section, click on Latest Build here. Then scroll down to the bottom and download the zip file by clicking on it right there. Once the zip file has been downloaded, we need to extract it. I'm just gonna extract it to a folder right here. Then open the folder and launch Live for Tilt Brush. There we go. And if you're here just to paint, you're ready to go, go ahead and create a new sketch and you can get started. But if you wanna be able to film in mixed reality, let's continue on to this next step. To film in mixed reality, we need to use Live. I'm not gonna go into full detail on how to use Live. If you have any questions or if this is your first time using it, I'll make sure to leave a link to their help page down in the description below. This is an amazing resource to get you started with everything that you need to know to film mixed reality with Live. All right, now I need to launch Capture. And I already have my camera set up. So under Capture, I wanna switch from Auto over to Manual. And Target, we need to select Live for Tilt Brush and change the effect to SDK Normal Masked FG Pre-Multiplied. Now that we're all set up, it's time to jump in and put our painting skills to the test. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start a new sketch here. This is gonna clear my, my canvas, give me a fresh canvas to start off with. And I've got my tools right here on my left controller. It lets me, just with the joystick, cycle right through them and find exactly what I'm looking for. So I can change my brushes. Let's, let's do something a little fun. Oh, and increase the size just a touch. Oh, there we go. We got some fire streaks coming through the air. That is so cool. What other brushes do we have? We've got embers. Let's make those blue. Wow. We even have some snowflakes. Let's do some white snowflakes right over here. <laughs> okay, this is a lot of fun, but I wanna see if I can actually paint something together. Drawing has not been a strong point of mine, but you know what? There's always an opportunity to learn a new skill and I'm really excited to try this one out. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear the canvas here. Let's go ahead and clear the sketch. And then I'm gonna switch over to, let's do, uh, how about, what does this thick paint look like? Oh, there we go. All right, let me clear those out. Well, a couple of different color picker options here. I can even save favorites along the way. That's perfect. Maybe a little bit of yellow. We'll need a, we'll need a red as well. All right, with my colors loaded up, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to my paintbrush. And I think I wanna start off couple of spirals here. Let's paint the edges. Come all the way around. Oh, I'm getting a little too close. So let's take a grab and move the canvas over. Let's see if I can get over to this other side. All right, nothing too exciting yet, but I can change right over to my green here. Bring this right on down. There we go. And now we've got the beginning 
of a nice little happy tree. This is a lot of fun because you really get to see and feel the layers that, that stack on together that create what we're painting here. Okay, so I've got our first little tree. Let's see if we can throw in a sun here. So I'm gonna move over to my brushes, see if I can find something. Oh, here we go, here's light. How does light work? Oh! <laughs> Super bright, super bright. Throw in a, a couple of these happy little sun rays. There we go. Nice sunshine right in our single tree forest. But this forest needs, it needs something. It needs, I think we need a little animal. And maybe a nice little gray. Bring the floor up a little bit. Right here, we're gonna paint a nice little happy bunny rabbit. Start off with a couple of bunny feet. There we go. Big happy bunny feet. All right, and then come up probably around like that. More of the body, let's get right there. Be a nice, nice little plump bunny. There's the bunny's head. And Big ol' happy bunny ears. Bunny also needs a big white bushy tail and some bunny arms. So the bunny needs a little bit of a fill, so let's see if there's another brush that could fill out just a little bit better. Let's see about, let's see what this oil paint does. Let's see if we can get a bigger brush. We'll just get a, there we go. Bring those ears right up and then just fill in the body. The bunny needs needs a little bit more something. Let's get those legs in there. Then right there on those feet again. Keep that tail all nice and bushy. All right, back over to the pinch marker. I wanna switch over to, let's go to that nice little pink. Gotta give it a nice little pink. Bunny nose right there. Come over to black and give it a couple of black beady eyes. Oh, I'm not a fan of that last one. Let's see if I can undo that. There we go, keep going. There we go. Ugh, but we can't leave the bunny like that. The bunny needs, the bunny needs a carrot. Let's give the bunny a carrot. So if we're gonna make a, a carrot for the bunny, I think we're gonna need some orange. Let's get a nice little orange. And let's put that right there. There we go. Can petals work for the, uh... there we go. The bunny has a carrot. Happy bunny with a carrot hanging out in the forest. And I think the best thing that's gonna to top this all off, throw a rainbow right over the top. We can do a better rainbow than that. There we go! Just for a little bit of flair. Let's throw a touch of stars right here. Oh, a little high, a little high. Right above this rainbow. All the way over. Lots and lots of stars. And there we go. <laughs> a happy bunny sitting in our one tree forest underneath the bright sunshine. A wonderful rainbow underneath the stars. And this concludes my absolute first painting here in Tilt Brush. I think we absolutely nailed it. At least for my first drawing. I've got a long way to go to uh, improve my painting skills here in virtual reality, but it's something that I really enjoy. I think this is a, a great way to get a different perspective on art and on ways that we can create or just different ideas that we can get out of our head. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna stick around for more and we'll see y'all in the next one.